Do you need to teach your students technology skills for distance, hybrid, virtual, online, or in-person classroom learning? Let them teach each other. I'm Chris Turnbull and I'm an Innovation Development and Computer Science Program Manager in a large urban school district with one-to-one -one iPads for all of our pre-K through 12th grade students. I'm also an Apple Distinguished Educator and Apple Learning Coach and look for opportunities to use iPads to transform teaching and learning. I hope that you will join me for my session on leveling up tech skills with student technology leaders at the ISTE Live 22 conference to hear about how our student GS Squad tech teams learn new tech skills, leveled up, and earn badges as they move through synchronous and asynchronous course resources and put their skills to work through service learning to support their teachers and classmates. For the past seven years, we have had over 39,000 students pre-K through 12th grade who all received iPads to use as a learning tool, as well as all of our licensed staff, EAs, and TAs who were also issued iPads. In the spring of 2020, during the pandemic lockdown, iPads went home with all of our students, creating a need for ways to support students and families who are now learning to use new apps without their teacher at the elbow in the classroom. Some of our middle school and high school GS Squad students moved their iPad help desk to Google Meet to support classmates and families online with iPad questions. And GS Squad expanded into more elementary schools through asynchronous courses in Schoology in which students could learn about apps through short app tutorial videos. Many of the videos covered new apps like Google Meet, video conferencing and good digital citizenship expectations for using the iPad at home since most pre-K through fifth grade students had not previously taken the iPads home. I created lots of bite-sized videos on basic features of the iPad and navigation that students could watch and teach their families how to use the iPad too, to help them to be able to do their assignments and communicate with their teachers. When students were able to return to our schools and classrooms, I expanded the video tutorials beyond basics to focus on more creative uses of the iPad and apps to show what students were learning in fun ways. With the help of the Everyone Can Create series of books, the 30 creative activities for kids, and 30 more creative activities for kids. I created a series of fun challenges for elementary Genius Squad students through scaffolded videos to help students explore the features of several apps, to learn about the app features that they could teach to their classmates and to younger grade level students. Through the challenges, students not only learned about apps and features of their iPad that they had not used before, but they also learned about digital citizenship and iPad safety and many new ways to use their imagination to demonstrate their academic learning in fun ways that allowed for visual representation and vocabulary connections, as well as writing, speaking, and social skills. Students were able to transfer the how-to skills from these challenge projects to other classwork taking the work of teaching apps off the teacher's shoulders and allowing them to shine as tech leaders with younger students. I hope that you will join me for my ISTE Live session to check out the work of our elementary Genius Squad students, learn about these and other resources and more iPad challenges that helped our elementary Genius Squad students level up their tech skills and created an interest in computer science and technology related careers. I can't wait to see what you and your students will create as you level up your technology skills.